Here we are, welcome to the Wanderers in the Fourth Dimension unboxing video for the Chase Collector Set. We picked this up on Amazon for about $40. Uh, we haven't opened the box yet, so shall we get started? Yep. Alright, we've got a couple of little stickers here in the back sealing it up. I think that'll do. I believe this particular set is made by Underground Toys. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. Looks like I one more there. sticker that we missed. Get that one. Beautiful box. Really like the detail on the box. Nice design, nice big window. There's some text on the back talking about the Daleks' backstory and this serial, The Chase. And we'll just lift up the top. I'm going to turn it around so they can see the back real quick. Sure. Here's what we have on the back. It shows that the serial's from 1965. It gives a little bit of information on the Daleks and the Mechanoid, which is the uh, other... The other robot creature in here, and then some information about the uh, the serial that they come from, the chase. I'm gonna have to probably pull it out. Yeah, it looks like maybe the whole thing can just slide out. There we go. They wedged that in there really well. Okay. There we go. Got them in their little plastic stand there. Let's see. Does the plastic come out or is it adhered to the cardboard? It sounded like some tape. Ah, oh, there's yeah. some tape down on the bottom. Cut through that. If you don't have a knife, keys will work. <laughs> we'll open the cardboard. A little bit more tape on the sides. I'm just going to pull off. Half that one's already torn away. Okay. And then... A little piece of tape on the top right? Oh no, it's one of those. It's got the slider. So you have to... Remove ah. the tape and then you can get to the plastic More tape. tape. They really secured these things well. Well, they kind of needed to because if they get loose, <laughs> yeah, rattling around in there would be bad. There we go. Alright. Now we can pull the plastic out. So that's what we've what we're what, what it looks like with just the plastic. Now we've got some twist ties on the back that need to be undone. I'm having flashbacks to the screwdriver. Yeah, those don't look as thick <laughs> as the screwdriver. That no, one looks these like are it's knotted. Just, yeah. A little bit of knotted twine or something. Yeah, probably easier to just use a pair of scissors on those. Oh, I got one. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> All right, got one of them open. Oh, 
this one says it wants scissors. <laughs> Let's do the mechanoid next, he's easier. Okay. Unseal that. There we go. I just wanted you to open it up in the right order. <laughs> It's got a little antenna or something in right there. Yeah, I'm guessing that may be a, an alternate arm for the Dalek. Not sure. We'll take that out in a moment. There's one Dalek. Got wheels on the bottom. That's always nice. The mechanoid is fixed in here with another one of these little ties. Adjustable arms. Just little eye piece a little bit. Looks like there's a little piece of rubber here to just keep the eye piece from moving too much. That will have to be cut away. I'm going to free the second dock. Yeah. The dome does rotate. That's very nice. Ah, and I can just pull the mechanoid out of the loop there. The mechanoid, oh, the mechanoid has five wheels on casters, so it can yeah. move any direction. Yeah, the Daleks on their wheels, they had one caster and then the two, so it can nice. navigate around pretty easily. Pulling, Very nice. Pulling the tape away from this accessory, pulling it out. So I think we've gotten all the pieces. So I have a first doctor from the... 11 doctors box set that they have so you can see sort of the size comparison with the doctor piece So he's just a little bit taller than the Daleks, which seems about right. Yep To scale Now I'm seeing that this uh, this piece kind of resembles the piece that's sticking out yeah, of the probably mechanoid. Probably if you want it to shoot or not shoot possibly yeah. Even though the Yeah, I was gonna say the detail on this is a little bit different. Yeah, So these are pretty nice pieces. The uh, yeah, they have a little piece of like rubber rubber band there that needs to be probably either cut away or taken away. I want to try to extract it, but uh, yeah. I'm worried about damaging the eye stock. <laughs> yeah, thin pieces of plastic are. Oh, the Dalek head moves, the blaster and the plunger move, the eye stock moves. Just going to clip away the plastic there. That's interesting. We, uh, we saw these as being from Underground Toys, but the Information on, stamped onto the Daleks themselves says character options limited. Hmm. So you've got the rotation on the Dalek head. It can face. Yeah, I think the that's back free of the spinning. box does say underground toys though on it. So looks like we're right there. The eye stock moves up and down. There's okay. very good range of motion on that. The blaster moves different directions, and the plunger arm. Now the plunger arm feels feels a little bit thin. These are, uh, I think, better as display pieces than as toys, because it feels like some of these pieces are a little bit fragile. Yeah, unfortunately, anything about this size you're going to find that in. That's interesting. The mechanoid has a little lever on it that hmm. allows you to pull away a piece of its ring. Another one on the other side. It's 
It's been a long time since I've seen this serial. I don't remember if that's something from the show or not. Well, we'll be re-watching it shortly and having a review on it on our podcast, Wonders in Fourth Dimension. Yep. We'll, uh, we'll be, I'll be watching that serial tomorrow night. We'll be recording in a couple of days. And then the show should go live in about two weeks after we've had some time to edit it and put it together. I wonder if these uh, these levers are related to that extra piece, if we can... I was just looking, this doesn't look like it has a... Uh... Anything that would hold it in? Yeah, so it must just be wedged in there, if that is for that. Yeah. Yeah, certainly it looks like that's what it would be for, though. Just based on the pictures on the box. It seems like this blaster might... I can't tell if it's unscrewing or if it's no, just rotating. I think it's just rotating. <laughs> okay. huh. You want to get in here and have a look? Yeah. Not exactly my favorite color of Daleks, but they do look fantastic. Yeah, they are classic. That's yeah. The original color design, the paint yep. work is really good. The, I so, don't see any, any slop where there's uh, color where it shouldn't be. So this just pulls out. Oh, nice. Then you can stick in the replacement one, and that way you have it when it's firing or when it's not firing, just like in the serial. Excellent. Yep. I always appreciate little touches like that, even though I do prefer it with the firing one. Just because it looks more menacing. <laughs> <laughs> so we can set them up and, and have a little battle. Yeah. It does move fairly easily, not as easily as the Daleks do. Mm -hmm. The Daleks have a very nice free sort of motion feel to them where this one kind of drags along a little bit so the wheels aren't necessarily working as well as they are on the other ones. But they're also much tinier wheels. Yep. So all in all this is a very well put together set. It was packaged very nicely. And if you're a fan of the classic look of the Daleks and a fan of this particular cereal, I would definitely suggest this set. If you're looking for something a little more in terms of modern Daleks, this probably isn't what you're looking for. But again, this is authentic towards what it was based on, and that's all that really matters. Definitely a good addition to a collection of Doctor Who figures, something you could put up on your shelf. Probably not something you want to give to your young kids who are fans of Doctor Who, because uh, odds are, well, the Daleks are going to take some battle damage fairly quickly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. We will try to do more like this as we look at various Doctor Who merchandise.